I love a good bagel, and I'm gonna show you how to style a special spin on a New York breakfast staple. We're gonna use perfectly toasted bagels, some fresh schmear, some smoked salmon. It's gonna look beautiful, and it's gonna taste delicious. Let's get this schmear party started. So we have about four ounces of softened cream cheese. Make sure cream cheese is at room temperature because otherwise it's gonna be really hard to stir. So softened cream cheese. And to that we're gonna add about a half a cup of sour cream. And then we're gonna add some fresh lemon juice. Delicious. That citrus is gonna bring out the creaminess. It's gonna balance really well. And then a bit of minced white onion. And you could use dried onion here if you like, but I love the flavor of the fresh onion. And then we also have some black sesame seeds. That's gonna not only add texture and flavor, it's also gonna look really pretty on camera. And then I have some garlic powder. You could use regular garlic powder or roasted garlic powder, whichever one that you like. To wrap this all in, we have our fresh minced dill. Dill and cream cheese is a classic combination. The flavors play off each other really well and it actually pairs really beautifully with the smoked salmon that we're gonna put on our bagels and lox. I wonder why you call smoked salmon lox. Cause why wouldn't you just say like bagels and, well, bagels and lox is way catchier than bagels and salmon. This is looking beautiful and you just wanna stir this together until there's no large chunks of cream cheese remaining. It's just a nice smooth schmear. I love the black sesame seeds in here. This looks really cool. All right, so our schmear is made. It looks beautiful. It's full of texture and color from the dill and the sesame seeds. So I'm gonna put this aside. And then the next thing I'm gonna talk about is our bagels. Voila! I am looking for the holiest of bagels. I, I had a bite of my bagel and I forgot to pray. Really what I'm looking for are bagels that have a nice concentric circle for the hole. I don't wanna have a bagel, preferably in the shot, that you can't really see the hole because part of this is about the bagel, it's about the schmear, it's about the salmon. And also I love to toast a bagel. The toasting brings out the color and I wanna see a color contrast between like the toast of the bagel and the color of the schmear. So I'm gonna work with these toasted bagels and then we have some traditional toppings. I have some really pretty red cherry tomatoes. We have some thinly sliced cucumber, some fresh dill, and then I also have some red onion that we thinly sliced and we've been soaking in cold water. Not only does this make your red onion look better, it also tastes really good because it gets a lot of the bitterness out of the red onion. So it's a really good idea to soak it in water. So we're gonna start building our bagels. I'm gonna start with this toasted one right here. And when I'm putting the schmear on, you wanna start out a little bit lighter because like for the photo, I wanna be able to see parts of the bagel. But also if you're serving these up to guests, in my opinion, it's always better to have a little bit less cream cheese so they can add more later if they like. Ready? Seeing the texture of the schmear, we're gonna add some salmon. And instead of just laying the salmon flat on the bagel, that might kind of create a weird angle. I'm just gonna kind of ribbon it so that we don't completely cover the circle in the middle of the bagel. We kind of just create a really pretty texture. So we've got that on there. And I'm gonna add some of our sliced cucumber. We used actually mini pickling cucumbers. They're smaller in size, but they taste really good and they look really good on our bagels. And then I have some red tomatoes that I'm probably gonna put on the plate. I may, once we get over to our styling area, slice them in half, maybe play with putting some on the bagel. And then we also have this red onion. I wanna pick out the really purpley pieces just for visual. Pretty, that's beautiful. Okay, so we have our smoked salmon, we have our cucumbers, we have our red onion, and you can play around with how you serve these. You know, maybe some bagels, you do a little more salmon, some you make a little more schmeared and a little more veggie friendly. Just play around with whatever you like. All right, so I'm gonna take these over to where I'm gonna set up and serve these bagels. We're gonna add some extra seasonings and some fresh dill. Okay, so we have our bagels and lox all set up on this beautiful wooden cutting board. I love all the color that we're getting from the cucumbers and the red onion and the tomatoes. I have one of our bagels that's already built. So I'm gonna build one more variation just to show you guys how you can style it a little bit differently. And this guy, I want to put a little more schmear and a little more salmon on. So I'm gonna add some schmear in this time. I wanna kinda of create like a little more texture and a little more wave in the cream cheese, kinda of so it picks up some light. This looks awesome. I'm trying to be careful not to cover up the circle in the middle of the bagel. I wanna keep it a little bit more open. So I'm gonna kinda of pull this into pieces and layer this kind of around the bagel. And I really like these pieces with the herbs on the outside that adds a lot of texture and dimension to the salmon. 
And then I'm gonna add our tomatoes and then our cucumber for some color. And I probably won't add a ton, maybe just kind of pile these in like that. And then some red onion, just light little wisps of red onion. And then some thinly sliced cucumber to add in some green and the color, the pops of color. Another thing I can add is some more texture to this. I have some capers, which is a traditional thing you would have with bagels and lox. They're salty, they're briny, they're really delicious. So I'm gonna add a little bit of capers on top of this, just a couple. And maybe if some kind of fall to the side of the bagel, I like that too. It looks kind of nice and natural, like you're just about to dive in and eat it. And then the last element is some everything bagel seasoning, which I love. You know, we love flaky salt. I love all the dimension that this gives. Getting a little bit around the plate too. Maybe add a little bit of a pile around it. And then one more thing we can add for an extra pop of color, extra dose of flavor, is some fresh dill. And I'm just gonna take some sprigs, kind of put some dill on there. I'm gonna spray these guys lightly with water with my spray bottle just to perk up the color a little bit. And then I also have our knife that I'm gonna add a little bit of schmear to so we can have it ready for our guests to use. It also makes a really pretty photo. I just love this. So I'm gonna actually put some extra on the cutting board that you could use for people to pick up or just kind of to show a little extra clue in our photo of what kind of bagels we're eating. Adds a little texture. So I'm gonna clear all of our extra ingredients out. The board looks amazing. This plate looks amazing. I may add a couple extra vegetables on the plate. I can't wait to dig in and get to eating. Before I do, I'm gonna take a couple photos of the spread. Wow, that bagel is really good. The yummy, creamy schmear, that is an excellent bagel. But you know what? I wanna see you style bagels and locks. So tag your creations at Pop Kitchen on Instagram and comment below. I wanna know what you wanna see me style next.